all right guys welcome back to the channel so today we're gonna be talking about the context menu again into the react flow so uh, like since last uh, few days uh, i'm just getting the comment on the few videos like uh, how did you make this uh, context menu and how you are getting the like no position where the contact ma context menu should get open so on that thing i'm just going to make another video and in this video i'll just make that one like uh, if you click on the node so menu gonna be open and if you right click on the node then also the menu gonna be opening so in the both scenario how you have to do it so it gonna be covered into this video so please uh, watch it carefully and see like it's not a like a kind of very complicated it's a very straightforward into the uh, library and it's already given over here but uh, i don't know some of you guys got missed those videos so that's why i'm making it again so please uh, watch it properly till the end and let me know into the comment section if you have any issue so if you see my this screen so i have this simple react node flow is running so this is a kind of parent parent child combination i have already made video on this one so if you have seen my earlier videos so into this one uh, this is a kind of comes into the react flow pro so that's why you will see over there so you can create the parent and child node collection okay so into this one if you see if i click on this so one uh, let me just reload this page so if you see when i right click on it so you see one menu is coming over here okay same for the like uh, if i go over here and if you click on it so i'm right clicking on that and i'm getting this menu okay so let me just show you the code how it's running from here so if i remove this one and also i have made some changes into this uh, project is the in this repository so if you are guys cloning this repo so make sure you don't go into this react flow one because this is going this is this has been deprecated so most of the people are commenting like uh, your this uh, which one you have included into the index.js that is not working so i'm very sorry for that one guys because i saw this is something issue is going on so i have wrote new folder the, which is react flow poc2 and that is already included into the index i have removed all the things from here and only the uh, folder is like this component is included over here so this is only going to be running okay so we, let's go into the index.js and if you see over here there are two options one is known context menu and another one is let me just on note click equals to so same function i'm going to be passing on this one as well on node context menu okay so if you click on the node so like right click on the node and then also it's gonna be opening that menu and if you left click on the node so also that time it's gonna be opening the more menu over there so if i right click on it so i'm getting the position so okay so if you see in the react flow already it comes with the on node context menu so let me uh, so which means if you click on any node like right click on any node so it's gonna be prevent the default behavior which you right click on it and you see the inspect element so that gonna be revoked and apart from that this will it will fire only directly this function so you see on context menu so i have also written the e dot prevent default over here so which wanna be remove the default behavior like if if you go over here and you right click on it so you seeing the inspect but if i go on the node okay on the node and if i right click on it so you see i'm not getting that inspect one i'm just directly getting this menu okay so that is called context menu and you can include this e dot prevent default so it's not going to be taking the default behavior it will remove that one okay after that i'm just managing some states over here and setting the anchor element so anchor element means if you if you have used sometime like uh, material ui so you will see like how material ui works in the case of if you open uh, menu okay so let me just take you to the menu over here and if you see down there so like let's i'm clicking on this one okay and if you see over here menu menu item okay and you see this one. so for opening this one we have to set the anchor element so anchor element let you get the anchor element by event so you pass the event event get the current target and that current target you have to set it inside the menu so met this material ui menu automatically take care of the position x and y coordinates and it will render your menu over there automatically okay so that's how it works so when i'm clicking on any node so let's suppose this node so you see the menu is coming over here okay let me increase some more uh, options inside of this so if you see over here 
I have uh, I have created one con context menu over here. So this is the code right now over here. You see, this is the small code. Rest of the code I have committed out because this is not usable. That was for the different purpose. But now you see, this is the code I have used, written for menu. And the option is, which option? Actions. This is coming from the actions. And actions is coming from your, this props. Okay. So let's go inside this uh, where this context menu is included and after that we can say so in the index.js you see i have included this context menu and i'm passing this as an option so let me pass it another op another uh, object over here control c control v and i'm gonna name it as edit okay so just uh, give you the better understanding about this one so if i reload this page and you see so now if i click on it so you see i'm getting the two options edit and delete okay over here as well so if i click on it sorry so you see edit and delete so edit and delete so everywhere and the position of the context menu is coming as it is just underneath of that node okay it's not going like over here over here somewhere else so it's coming properly underneath of the node where you exactly wanted it okay so that's how this node context menu works and i have already written this code and i'm gonna post it into the github so you, you guys can load it and make sure you remember this react flow poc2 that you have to use it and inside that you will get the all the code related to that all right guys i hope you have learned something from this video and still you have some kind of confusion or anything so just do let me know into the comment back so i will get back to you and i'll Make sure I will be able to resolve your issues. So thank you so much guys. Thank you for watching. I'll meet you in the next video. Bye-bye.